dude, you suck at this game. <laughs> Whatever, man. Hello everyone, welcome back to Gone Home. When we last left off, we we're waiting on my fish sticks. Fairly exciting about it. I think they're almost done. Very excited about it. Highly anticipated uh, development in this game is my fish sticks. Before I could do that though, I gotta clean the uh, silverware as well. It turns out that's all dirty. So let's stick it in here in the microwave here. And it's gonna take care of it for us. All right. Meantime, let's pull them out. Oh yeah, they're nice and soggy. Just the way I like them. Put them on the plate. Uh, you know what? I should probably finish this part up before I eat them. So I'll do. I'll do that real quick. Let's read this letter. Samantha and Dangle were in the woods one day. It was sunny, and they were to fight on their own. You can do it. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it, but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it, and then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. Aww. That's too bad. So let's do the shitty tape. Uh huh? Woo! Don't do this at home, kids. Yep, let's go ahead and just make some room in the microwave for this. Yep! Throw that in there. Alright, taken care of. Taking no pizza, no pizza. There's just no one leaves me anything. There's just I'm the forgotten perfect child. Somebody talk to me! Fuck! Dear Lord. All right, what's going on, June? Let's see. What is today? Anniversary trip. Rick's, we Rick's wedding. <gasps> oh, interesting. Charity junk. Um, what? Dennis, Sam. What is today? I forgot already. <laughs> So, oh, interesting. I think they're in the middle of their anniversary trip. It's June seventh, right? June eleventh, June twelfth. Fuck, damn it. Fuck, damn. That's the one thing I always forget in this game. This is some items. Oh my god, look at me. I'm adorable. I'm adorable. It's it's my little it's like fucking full house hair going on there. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh my goodness, what is that? Date of expir expired a while ago. Oh no, it doesn't. Date of expiration 07. I keep thinking like uh, current times. Damn, let's look her up. She's pretty cool. She's pretty cute. She's pretty cute. Lots of binders to bind things with, and another telephone directory. These people need to know the numbers on hand. Gotta keep them numbs on hand, boy. -y. Their pantry. Shouldn't this be refrigerated? Uh, maybe it's refrigerate after opening kind of situation. But yeah, I um, I got Destiny. Just jumping back that randomly, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I just can't believe they made some stuff as PS Plus exclusive. And why do we have so many damn boxes of Honey Snaps? Oh, Honey Snap! Oh, we got some hamburger dinner, and a grab bag of juicy tricks. I'm just not even reading anymore. I'm just making a mess. Cause no one's home. No one loves me. Ah! Stick head in the oven. Go ahead, stick my head in the oven. I'm just kidding. Not yet. Later. Not now. The microwave would be a better choice, obviously. Alright. Accidental pariah. First, let me say, I hope this missive finds you. Well, ugh, this is a lot of gibberish. Apparently, this guy finds out that our dad owns all this fucking, uh, accidental crap and he wants it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand really the dad sort of side of things. I know he's, his thing's going downhill pretty quick, but uh, I don't know. Rotic? I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot really. You're not allowed to bring <laughs> anything with you. 
You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. Oh. Quit making me sad, Sam. I'm gonna have to murder you. Alright, let's see. My parents are leaving town, so we'll go run the whole house till you leave. What? We'll run up the house, the whole house before you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking in into our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't make it musty lure, but the bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Be gross. Never change. <laughs> Could you imagine being in Katie's shoes? I don't, I don't know. Would that take you by surprise? Who knows? You've been gone for a year. What do you know? Oh, there's a note on the wall, too. I can read that. Your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary through the second. We'll be cam camping in the gorge, but we'll give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen's still in, in my own, in, in mid renovation. Never trust a contractor. 40 bucks on the table and order pizza while we're going. Be good, Dad. It's like they just didn't acknowledge me. Like, damn it. They're going to come home like, oh yeah, we have another daughter. Totally forgot you existed, Sam. Or Katie, whatever. Whatever. It's just the perfect one or whatever. But no one seems to care about the perfect one. It's so stupid. Oh my god. Ah! My door. Let's continue to search into this room of rooms. This is the laundry room, everybody. Welcome to the laundry room. It smells of lint and softly fabric softener. It's still raining so hard. We're probably flooding by now. Let's, you know, let's, 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 do, let's do everyone a favor, and we're going to go ahead and, well, maybe not, but that's permit, permit, permo to open. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and start a load. All right, start. All right, cool. That'll get stuff going. There's probably nothing in there, but that's beside the point. Let's see, what's this? Uh, cleaning around. Uh, we probably need some of that in the dryer. Read a note. Okay. I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is the thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army uh, friends are like family. I've always known it was there. I'd end up. This was where I would end up. I'd never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday I will settle at. I will settle at a base, and you'll be in the college, and you'll be a famous writer, and could rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed. Things will be different. And we'll be together until then, Sam. That's oh my god, what the fuck, Lonnie? Have some detergent. Alright, so <laughs> that'll get the wrinkles right out of that note. Alright, anything else interesting in here? Baking powder, laundry detergent. I'm gonna make like the batteries not included, see where I put some car batteries in there and throw the robot on. No one's gonna get that. Nope, no one's gonna get that. I'm in a prison. Where is everything? Oh, this little greenhouse. It's adorable. I wonder if there's anything interesting here or not. The accidental human. Okay, Terrence. Dad, you're getting a little weird. Pamphlet for strong times. A couple's consulted counseling retreats. Oh, they're gonna get counseling. They booked. Oh, they didn't go camping. They went to couples therapy. Oh dear. Oh, it's just an empty ass drawer. Wow. Wow. Dear Kaz, I could tell you what a joy it is, John Russell's back in print. Thank you very much for sin for sinning a long typo. Long copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said the unknown dimension isn't the business of printing new material, but this rev yeah. this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective, with, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness the unknown 
as you may just expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for an intervention to pursue. At the very least, I'm grateful for John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought it had. Thanks for regards, Tessa J. Grimbar, whatever. Look at this damn cup. It's gorgeous. Jazz. What's all this jazz? Alright, what's this? So I'm gonna turn to John's turn to call twice to the president's life. I'm getting really tired. So you have to forgive me, guys. Alright. Oh. Oh. Midnight, June 5th. Final preparations are complete. So this happened recently. Very recently. There's a secret door under the stairs. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. Then we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized all of the past and there wouldn't be any more I didn't know what I was going to do and I cried and she held me she said she knew it was hard but life would move on I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight oops She's so sorry incredible on stage she was singing, Barcelona bitches. I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, oh. I don't think you can anymore. Aw. Oh, I'm sorry I interrupted that last one. <laughs> Let me uh, tell you what. I'll go ahead and replay it, and I'll just call it good there. How about that? Uh, can I can I can I listen to it again? Press what button is that? Uh, is it? it what, what the fuck? This button? What? What? Oh, that! We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. Then we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized that they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. 